there this is khadar and it's been a long time i have posted any video lately first of all advance happy pongal to everyone and so recently i have been working on a um, very big project it's a rechargeable music system which can play mp3s from pen drives and sd cards and even from a mobile so here i'll show you oh, this is the music system i have been working on and it's a rechargeable one and it can play music from pen drives you can see there's a usb slot here and there's a sd card slot here and there's a memory card there already and you can it also has a aux cable and aux cable is simply a, a, a cable with uh, two headphone jacks so if you want to play music from your mobile then you can connect the one of the ends of the aux cable to your mobile and the other to the music system and you play the songs from your uh, mobile and uh, it's a, as i said uh, before it's a rechargeable one and as you can see there's a green led glowing here it shows that uh, it's switched on and there's also a display here and uh, i made this from a old speaker uh, this, like this one and it's an old speaker it wasn't uh, being used anymore so what i did was i removed this piece here and placed my music system there and also fitted amplifiers power supplies and battery inside that so as you can see this is the mp3 uh, system which i fitted there you can get this music uh, boards or circuit boards from automobile accessory stores where uh, i bought from a auto rickshaw accessory store where they sell this boards it, it costs me around 200 rupees and uh, you will only get the board and this remote it's a remote controlled one so you will get this remote it has five pins on the board uh, two for the power supply and three from the audio cables it runs on a 5 volt supply so i'll open the speaker and show uh, open the bo box and show you the internal parts now. so this is the rear view of the box and as you can see there's a power, uh, power button here if you switch it on this LED, green led glows and shows that it's switched on and this is a blue led which shows when it's charging and as you can see there's a female two pin port here which you can connect a wire a plug like this and to the other end of this plug there's another plug which can fit in the power supply and charge it so I fitted this rear part with four screws here which I have removed now I'll open and show you what's inside from this port they are wire connected to this transformer this is a 1 amp transformer and from this 1 amp transformer I connected a 15 ohm resistor just to limit the current here and from this it goes to this power supply here it's a bridge rectifier with connected, uh, connected with the connected to a capacitor and the capacitor output is connected to a charging circuit so this charging circuit is simply with a single transistor and using a 6.8 volt zener diode as a voltage regulator and the reason for using 6.8 volts is that mm, the, this battery as you can see this is a 6 volt battery which can be charged maximum to around 6.8 volts only so i used a 6.8 volt regulator and after the battery is completely charged uh, what i did was i connected a blue led which will glow when the battery is fully charged and there is a power supply button connected in series with the transformer to the charging circuit next from the charging circuit i connected to a voltage regulator supply here as you can see this is the 7805 regulator connected uh, another capacitor is connected just to act as a filter and from the output of this regulator goes to this board this is a uh, mp3 player board which i mentioned and uh, from the supply again uh, one supply uh, one power line goes to the amplifier circuit so this is the amplifier circuit it's a transistorized version but you can also use a six, uh, ic version of the amplifier it's a half watt amplifier and you can see my previous video for instructions of this amplifier circuit and as you can see there's a fuse connected here i have connected uh, covered it with tape this one 2 amp fuse connected to the battery just to protect the battery from uh, shorting out and the, the output of this amplifier is connected to the speaker this is a 8 ohm 4 watt speaker now let's see the working of the circuit so now let's test the output of the board so now, now let's test the output so as i said it's a remote control one i'll switch it on As you can see the volume is pretty loud for a small circuit and actually the volume is still at 9 and it can go up to 50 so I'll, I'll keep this at a distance and see the volume so now volume is at 33 
So as you can see it's pretty loud. Now the volume is at 45. I'll change the song. So it's playing songs from this SD card here, which is fitted here. You just press it and remove if you have any. Just remove the card like this. And not just a SD card, you can also play uh, FM radios on this. It has a fe feature. So I'll just switch it on. <laughs> As you can see, it's playing uh, FM radio 91.1 megahertz. You can change the station also from this. Not just that, if you have a USB, you can also connect the tier and you can play songs on the USB. And there are also switches, four switches connected here. It's one for the volume. If you press it, it will change the volume. If you press it once, it will change the song. If you long press it, it will change the volume. There's a scan button, volume increase and volume decrease. And there's a mode changing button also. So coming for charging, this is the charging cable, which I said. It just has a two male pins. And what we'll do is, one pin will connect to this female socket here. And the other end of the cable is connected to the AC socket. I'll switch it on. And as you can see, there's a blue LED glowing here. This one. And when the battery is fully charged, the LED automatically shuts down and indicating that the battery is fully charged and you can just switch down, switch, switch the button off there. So, and one more feature is that you can use it while it's charging also. So simultaneously, the battery will also get charged and you can also use the... Uh, system and what I did was I fitted a strap like this so that I can carry it anywhere and it's a short strap now but you can extend it like a back strap so we're just pulling out like this and it will become a bigger strap so it's a as you can see it's a strap and you can hang it to your shoulder and take it anywhere so it's a portable music system and it can play music continuously on battery for around 5 to 6 hours and at, a, at the full volume so that was my music system and uh, one more feature of this is that when you insert an SD card it automatically detects it uh, now it's playing radio so I'll insert an SD card and as you can see it automatically, it automatically changes to the SD card and it will detect it and it automatically start playing the songs which you uh, left it before and it's the same case with the USB slot also so that was my music system a homemade music system and so please tell me how you feel about my video and please subscribe if you like my videos thank you